guys this is Vivek and this is the 32nd tutorial of this Linux tutorial series in this tutorial we are going to learn about the usage of command df and we will also see what du means and then we'll see the use of command free so these all commands are somewhere related with uh, disk or memory usage so let's start first with df command so the df if you type it will, it will give you the disk field so what file system it is 1k blocks how many 1k blocks are there how many are used how many are available in percentage how much percentage it's filled and where its mount point resides so just if you simply <coughs> hit df this is the default result that you see but and this is very important when you are trying to manage a system you always it's good to know that okay how much this space is available so uh, while working in UI you can always see the drives like how much space is filled and how much is available but while working on system or uh, remote desktops or remote servers uh, you need to log in through shell and then you don't have UI available so this is the command which will tell you how much disk utilization is being done right now so we can further make use of other switches with df you can always go ahead and type df and help it will give you all the different switches uh, permutation combinations which are useful for df command so if you type df minus a the result might vary a bit so <clears throat> it's giving all the details of the file system whichever is associated with a particular device so each and every thing is displayed here so uh, this is not very frequently used but it's always good to know now it looks very long string and it's difficult to interpret like how much uh, in MB or how much in GB is it's being used it's not human friendly so typically in your day-to-day -day life it's very convenient if it's can it can be made available in the form of GB's so if you type df minus h that is human readable format you will know that okay this size is 18g out of a 3g 3g is used and 15g is available similarly if it's less than a gig or less than a gigabyte then it's shown in the megabyte like 905 megabyte is used so it's human friendly now uh, you may always you may al also want to see if uh, disk fill of a particular directory or a system or file system here it is so suppose if you want to know like how much disk f uh, utilization is for slash home okay it's mounted here and this is 18 gigs in size out of a 3 is used and 50 is, 15 is remaining so similarly you can try this command with different directories and it will give you the details really pertaining to that particular directory if you want to see uh, the file system details in bytes you can type df minus k in kilobyte so if you want to see in megabyte you guess, might have guessed right df minus m small m alright and if you type minus H it's in gigabytes alright now if what if we want to see the file system nodes or I nodes so in later point of time in some chapter on some tutorial we are going to learn about I nodes but just know this command df minus I it will give you how many I nodes are being used and how many are free so there might you might um, reach to a point where even if there is a disk there is disk space available on your system but still it won't allow you to create a new file or new directory so that because uh, that particular uh, this uh, directory or mount is has run out of available inodes so if i free is zero you won't be able to proceed further by create uh, to create a new directory or new file so just know these commands the most important command is always df minus h 
if you want to see the type of different file system you can type df minus capital T uh, like what type of uh, file format is being used like XFS extended file system TM PFS ISO 9660 so df minus capital T will give it this particular result now if you want to see suppose uh, how many XFX are being used so I'll type df disks fill of small t type xfs and it will give me all the mount points which are using xfs if you want to exclude certain file types so we'll type tf minus x that is for exclude and we'll type suppose xfs so apart from these two remaining things will be displayed here cool so this is how you can make use of this command to know more about the system. Next we'll see du command. So du is disk utilization. For this particular directory it says zero. Let's become a root. And we'll go to cd root folder and we'll type du. It will go through each and every subdirectory and it'll give you uh, how much space is being used the left hand side you see the space utilized and the right hand side is the file we'll break it here because it will go on for a long time because there are a lot and lot of the files and directories in this uh, system so but if you want to know the usage of any any particular directory you can always type du minus h even readable format and then slash home so under home directory whatever file systems are there you know the details now uh, it might not look very useful right now but sometime you might need to know uh, which is the file uh, which is uh, consuming maximum amount of space in my system or what all files exist and how much space they are occupying so you can type this command and you can also sort these by size that we are not going to cover right now but uh, that that can be used in that manner so guys we learned about the usage of command df and du so next we are going to learn the use of command free so free command is used for knowing how much memory or ram that is being used or utilized and how much free it has so we'll see what all these different fields means here so the very first column if you see uh, it, the very first line has memory details second line have buffer details and third is swap details so the most important part here is memory and the first column says total memory available so that means it indicates the physical ram available for your machine and these numbers are denoted in kilobyte though it's not mentioned but you should remember it's kilobyte now the second column is how much it's being used so out of 187 uh, 111 and something it's being used right now in the system so it indicates the memory ram being used by the system this also includes the buffer and cache data now the third column free as the name suggests it indicates the total ram free and available for new processes to run now we can ignore the shared part here it it's it indicates shared memory but it's obsolete and may not may be removed in the future releases of uh, uh, free binary so the next column is buffers so it indicates the total ram buffered by the different application in this current running application or linux system and the last column it's used for caching of data for, for future purposes so this is for performance benefits of your application so the most important part here is how much ram you have used if you're running out of memory make sure you free up some memory space in order to run new applications now, second line if you see it's for buffer and cache memory how much it's used and how much the free memories are available and the third line is for swap memory so uh, 2 GB of swap memories are located in the system but right now nothing is being used and thus the entire swap memory is available right now so guys uh, you can also make use of different switches with this free command like free in kilobyte similar to like the default free free in megabyte and then you guessed right free in G so everything might not have up to a G of space so hence you should 
always 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 try in free kilobyte so you get the actual uh, picture of the current memory status so guys this is how we learned about the different uh, uses of command like df du and free commands so don't stop here practice and soon you will be comfortable using these commands whenever you need it so guys i hope you learned something new in this tutorial for as of now we'll stop here we'll meet very soon in the next tutorial and also do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future updates thank you very much for watching my tutorial guys have a nice day